Hello friends, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos. Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to learn how we can make connection and select data from Snowflake using Python language. So first we need to install module for this and module name is Snowflake Connector Python. How we can do this? Just by the same way we have done in our previous videos. So to do that, file I am going to and then setting, then in project, project interpreter, I have already installed it here it is already installed so i'm just showing you how you can do this you just need to search for snowflake and here it is just select it and click on install package and it will get installed after successful installation we need to have our snowflake credentials like username password account warehouse and table name so now i'm going to create a python script so it will be named as snowflake right and i'll show you my snowflake account so here it is and i'm using this by default demo db and this is the db name and this is the table name and we have only one column name and type is where care so let me just query this table and i'll show you what data we have in this so preview data so we have only one row and name is Achilles value so now uh, we need to have all the details of snowflakes to connect it so I'm going to create a python package and name it as config hit enter and then create a new python file and this will be also called as config here we will have a username is try to catch then password then we will have account then we will have warehouse account name will be this is the account name so i have it account name then warehouse is this compute wh compute underscore wh database is demo db okay so anything else we need uh, not really if we need it we will have it here then i'm giving the password so i'm not going to show you this so i'm just skipping it so here so as connector is already installed so i'm going to import it import snowflake dot connector as sf then i need to import the config file also from config import config right now uh, we need to get the object of connection so sf dot connect it will get three parameters with first is user equals to sorry uh, equals to config dot user name then password equals to config dot password then account account so like this equals to and config dot account yes and save it as con let's run it let's see whether we have any error or not so yes we are getting exit code zero so we are not getting any error now we need to execute all the queries 
to resume the warehouse and use the TV. So error handling should be here. Except as exception as e then print t. So I'm removing this as. Now here we are going to execute all these statements and for this first i'm going to create a function execute query why i'm doing this you will get it later so it will have two parameters connection and the query so connection dot cursor and this will give you the cursor object and cursor equals to uh, sorry not e uh, equals to cursor dot execute the query and cursor will be close like this now I'm getting the DB so use and dot format the config dot database right and I'm calling the execute query where we will give the con and SQL All right I'm going to copy this because we are going to use this many times then I need to use the warehouse so use warehouse dot format and config dot where okay so we are not having the warehouse okay so there was spelling mistake so I have corrected it config dot warehouse and then again uh, oh what is happening execute this function i need to call what is happening okay let me just do it again copy and paste yeah this is done now i need to resume the uh, warehouse if it is suspended SQL and then query is alter warehouse warehouse name resume right dot format and then config dot warehouse and again this right now we will execute our main query so select star from try to catch like this and here we need we can't use this execute query because it is not returning any cursor so that we can have the uh, data rows so here i am just copy and pasting the things or we can create another function so con and here it will be query oh sorry sql yes now i am creating a loop c in cursor and then print a c okay so let's run it and let's see um, <laughs> we should uh, get an error okay no so okay so why it is not giving this time the error let me just uh, run it again and I'll show you so uh, 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 yes so this time it is giving error why this is because first time our warehouse is not resumed that was suspended that is why there was no error or exception so for this now um, again using the error handling except pass 
like this. So if I run it, so it will not give any error to me. Yes, so we got the value. So likewise, you can have the data from any table. Another thing which I want to show you like this, uh, we are getting uh, rows in the form of tuples. If you want to have in the form of dictionary or key or value, so you just need to update your code like from snowflake dot connector, sorry, connector import dictionary cursor. So you just need to create the cursor object as dictionary then it will give you the result in the form of dictionary. So I am running it again. So here you can see now I am getting the key and the value and in the form of dictionary. One thing I forgot to code so we need to close the connection and cursor also. So finally con dot close and cursor will be closed here cursor dot close like this yes in my next video we will do more interesting things like how we can copy local data from csv to the table so if you have not subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for my every new video see you in next video till then stay happy jai hind